Yo! Make sure anybody up in here. Oh, look at that. Nice little gift. Some shit on the floor. That's nasty. What up, y'all? So, it's a no cap. Just another vlog. Um, today, in this vlog, it's going to be something special for y'all. We are buying a multifamily property, more specifically a duplex in the Detroit area. And right now, I'm on my way to the title company. Um, kind of got a little attitude about it because as far as shit, it's all the way. If you're in the Detroit area, the title company's in MC, and I got to take that 45 minute drive. Don't feel like doing it. But you got to do what you got to do to get this money. So we en route. Now, now, this property hit the market a week ago. I was actually the first person to go see it because I'll be on that shit. Uh, I'm going to show you how I'll be on top of that too. But I was the first person to go see it. It was a good price. It was a two family uh, property. It wasn't in bad shape, which is hard to find for the price range I found it in. So needless to say, I jumped on the deal and um, we're on the way to close it right now. So let's go. All right, so we finally made it out here. We in Ipsy at the title company. I'm about to go in here and sign these papers. And then the duplex is gonna be mine. So we on the way over there now. I'm about to do a walkthrough, probably do a light demo day. You know I'm gonna take y'all with me. Here y'all, so I'm gonna take you on a tour of my brand new investment property. You know, I'm gonna show y'all right off the rip. It's a lot of trash out here, you see that? But that's how you get good deals, man. You gotta find shit other people don't wanna deal with. So we about to go in there. I don't know if anybody in here. So, uh, yeah, I'm about to see how that works. I don't know. I need to tell me to check it out, bro. I'm just checking it out. I'm just checking it out. Is it? Okay, I'm going to check it out. Appreciate it. Anybody in here? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no, I seen him. Yo! Making sure ain't nobody in here. That's one thing about these Detroit properties, boy. Hey, people see you walking in and they be like, you own this? Hey, y'all need help? Like, chill, fam. Yo! Make sure anybody up in here. Look at that, nice little gifts. Shit on the floor. I think we clear. All right, y'all, so I'm about to get y'all a tour, y'all ready? All right, so when you walk in the side door, they got these freaky ass stairs. I ain't never seen no stairs like that, but they go two different directions. And you come up here. I ain't got the electricity on, by the way, so it's gonna be a little dark. Bear with me, y'all. This is the front door right here, front entrance. And this is the entrance to the first apartment on the first floor. You see you come in through here. And they got like a little dining area right here. That's the kitchen. And then there is this bathroom. And then there's the bedroom here and the bedroom here. And this is the bathroom. Uh, I don't know why I try to turn it on, but this is it. Let's go upstairs and look at the upstairs unit. It's right up these stairs. And that's the entrance to that unit. I see both of these uh, units got an entrance to the kitchen and the front door. And uh, this is the upstairs. I guess living room. This is the upstairs dining room. It's a bedroom right here. Oh, no, no, I think. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. This is a bedroom right here. This is not the kitchen over here. And this is a bedroom over here. They obviously had dogs because there's a lot of shit on the floor. But this is the bathroom and then this is the upstairs kitchen. Then 
Um, let's go take a look at the basement. This window never been closed. Get that closed. Um, these doors. This is the basement. You can see there ain't really nothing down here, so I'm about to get a furnace. Apparently, whoever had this place had dogs and they didn't take good care of them because it smells so bad. Um, and then we got two electric panels that we're going to get fixed. So that's pretty much what we're working with. And this is uh, pretty much going to sum up the tour of the house. All right, y'all, it was cold as hell outside, but I want to get back in the car and talk to y'all. My cost, my cost on this house was 35000 After uh, closing costs and everything, I paid 37000 Now, what made me buy this house? What made me buy this house is when I was looking for a house, I was looking for a house that was a multifamily property, one, and most of the multifamily properties I saw in Detroit were around $50,000. And the ones that I saw in the $50,000 range was in real shitty ass condition, meaning it would have took me like fifty dollars to 60000 to get it back in good shape. And they were in worse neighborhoods. So when I saw this house and it was only 35000 and the condition wasn't that bad, for me, that was a buy. As far as plans with the property, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it just yet. I just knew it was a good deal and I wanted to jump on it. I got a couple different options that I'm looking at, but I haven't had after seeing the tour that I just gave you guys, now you guys are thinking, how long is that going to take to flip? How long is it going to take to renovate that house? Um, the goal I got set for this house, as far as the renovations, is 30 to 45 days. I've done enough renovations where I know how long things take, and I think that between 30 and 45 days, we can get it done. Which brings me to how much I'm spending on renovations. I'm sure y'all want to know how much I'm spending on, you know, fixing this up. Right now, the plan is to spend 15 to 20,000. Keep in mind that I'm doing a lot of work in the house. So that's why I always save a little bit of money. It's a little advantage for me. But the goal is to spend no more than 20000 But when you do renovations like this, things pop up and you never know. So you got to account for things that you didn't expect. Now, as y'all could probably tell, the neighborhood over here, I wouldn't say it's the best neighborhood, but it's not no bad neighborhood. But you got to be from Detroit to get a feel for what the neighborhoods are and if they're safe or not. Like, I feel safe in any neighborhood in Detroit, but I'm from around here. So, um, feelings may vary but it's not the best neighborhood so i don't know if i would consider making these airbnbs but um i got a couple different options as far as what i could do with the property i can either try to airbnb it because it's not that far from downtown um i could turn it into some section eight rentals or because i bought it at such a low price point i could probably just flip it if i wanted to the arv for houses in that area is multi-families and like real good renovated condition is between 125 and 150. So knowing that I just paid 37 for this house and I'm hoping to put about 20 into it, I would have 57 into it. That's a nice little spread between the 57,000 and the 150 that it'll be worth. Honestly, buying real estate in Detroit is like one of those rare opportunities because most places across America have really expensive property values. So it's hard for people to be able to save enough money to buy a rental property where it makes sense to rent it out and make money. But when you buy a property in Detroit because it's so cheap, it makes it a lot more easier for a regular person to obtain and become an investor. And I know a lot of people are scared to buy real estate in Detroit just because of, you know, we got a bad reputation in Detroit. You know, it's, it's, it can get rough around here. I'm not gonna lie to you, but if you know what you're doing and you do your diligence, there's no reason why you can't buy some houses and make some money off of real estate. If you want to learn more about buying in Detroit, please feel free to reach out to me. My Instagram is right here. You can send me a DM. I do consultations and we can go from there. We can see if buying in Detroit is the right decision for you. If you want to see me make more videos about real estate in Detroit, let me know in the comment section below. If you own property in Detroit and you got some input, please let me know in the comment section below. I want to hear from you. If you like content like this and you want me to make more content like this, please don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe button, the notification bell. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow up with the progress of this and just see more about me doing real estate shit. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.